Good morning and welcome to the Be the Light Meditation today. Today is Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. And I have to say something interesting that's occurring here in Olympia. We're having unprecedented snow and rain. So in the last uh, six days, we have been snowed in. Well, not that's not perfectly accurate. But we have been held up in our um, office for six days because our home is without power. And there's a lot of snow between here and there anyway. I think it's really good when we get out of our comfort zones and we have to make do, make new choices, be resilient, and come out of that cushy place that makes us think we are really entitled to uh, always be comfortable. Our sensory systems and our physical bodies need to move and need to adjust and be resilient uh, to be at their healthiest and finest. And so the more that we keep ourselves in soft, hot environments with rich foods, well, look what happens to the kings. They get bloated, they die of gout <laughs> and <clears throat> other heart ailments. So this has been a very good experience. And it's humbling because you're out there walking around uh, with other people and you're helping each other, and you're all one. You're all just part of the freezing cold that makes it hard uh, to do your daily acts of living. So welcome to this meditation. I am Jan Jorgensen. I'm here in Olympia, Washington. And let's talk about this, how civilization has built up an infrastructure that those that can create cleverly or have certain social nodes that allow them to create and receive through social programming. Um, we really need to take a look at our footprint in the world and the ways that we are living and working towards a new world where resources are severely appreciated, profoundly appreciated, and loved back in the giving uh, that they're giving to us and in our receiving is a great gratitude. And of course, we know from all the intention experts, the more we appreciate things, the more that the right things come to us. And we've been um, bloated and gotten into some sort of new standard of wealth that is not based on our own personal needs and preferences and resonances to lift and hold us. In fact, we have a social gauge and standard that has taken away our souls, dehumanized us, and put us in a terribly steep radiation of judgment that um, we ourselves are even lost into that. We think, well, we don't have this much money, or we look tired, or we look old, or there's so many... <clears throat> standards of social currency <clears throat> that most people I work with and most clients, they have difficulty in even knowing what is truly theirs to naturally need and receive. They don't even know which partnerships to choose to help form <clears throat> the support team to move through with your highest vision for the world and your own heart. We've been hijacked and we've been sidetracked and we've been distracted for so long. So this meditation is to help you set yourself as a tuning fork in the world that you will know when something or someone or an idea even of your own thinking generates if it truly is not just life sustaining, but life giving and pouring in more of your own essence. People often want other people through their life experience in their book of life, their own little uh, operational manual to tell them what to do. 
But believe me, I've learned. I've asked and asked and asked, especially when I'm in emotional turmoil. And I'm to the point where I ask my own cells. I ask my own heart. I ask my own soul. Is this food good for me? Is the way this person is treating me good for my body and my soul? Can I get to a certain point of loving, allowing them to be who they are and to speak my truth so that I set boundaries and I am generally unscathed by their gnarly behavior and just push it back to them. And at a certain point, we set a boundary and say, I'm no longer enjoying this activity, person, project, endeavor. So we are unsure of ourselves because we have so many other pictures, agendas, and stories coming towards us. So the first part of the Be the Light meditation is to remove everyone else's needs out of your field, all the things they need for you to be and do and feel for them so that they feel whole. Essentially, this Be the Light process is about you getting straight with yourself, you being honest with yourself so you can be honest with other people. You must be honest with yourself first. Get very, very familiar. Know thyself. And so that you can uh, orchestrate things through your voice, your posture, and your eyes, that naturally the environment will shift as you shift to keep lining up more experiences based in truth and alignment. Okay. So let's begin the meditation. Go ahead and shut your eyes. Take a deep breath through the nose and out through the mouth. We ask and intend to set a sacred space. We place a hold on of balance over our entire body. We make an intention that we learn and practice and are aware of all of the prompts preceding, surrounding our own personal choices. We ask that we can identify those that are rooted in fear, choosing things that are safe, standard, things we've learned from society will keep us safe. But our heart truly knows, and our heart is dancing around and fighting itself. You know what I'm talking about. Take a deep breath through the nose and out through the mouth. What we are working with here is to claim that which is ours and to sort out everything else. I often call it gold panning. So in this meditation, we call in the divine beings of light to surround us now. They see us for who we truly are and they humorously watch us stumble and bumble and dance with the wrong people, wrong projects, and wrong goals all the time. So they love you from a very high platform of unconditional love. So feel that. Feel how your heart has harbored the density of the human experience and life and fear and other people posturing, manipulating, and working your energy field for their own game, whatever it is, whatever their game is. To cord, to suck energy, to get your talents on their team. There's so many ways of doing it. Take a deep breath through the nose and out through the mouth. This is a moment of truth because we are going to remove all other people's energies and thoughts Deeds, expectations, verbal manipulation, and psychic overlap from your energy field now. It is being pulled out in a way, and notice that if you have any resistance, it is important to even remove people's energy from your field that you are emotionally close to. You will have more discernment and be able to be in an a place of more integrity and receivership with clarity of their love and intentions when you are in your own lane, when you are not in their lane. 
Take a deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth. It is often said, be true to thine own self. But usually this comes from a human model of me first, selfishness, ego driven. Be true to thine own self truly means that you are embedding your higher encodement, your higher signature of your divine essence and your true purpose and role here on earth and your true foundational gifts and energy system. And this does not include other people telling you unless you ask them and you have discerned through your life experiences that they are very clear without their own agendas. So take a deep breath through the nose and out through the mouth. And all of these words are setting up our logical mind to a place of accepting this process that we're going to go through together in just a moment. Refining, refaceting, purifying, using that Windex to clear the windows of our own knowing and seeing and honoring and integrating that higher that higher profile of ourself that is ever so elusive. We're going to mesh the two now so you know what you know, you can access the truth, you can be in that oneness permeable to distraction, manipulation, or interference. Okay, so here we are. I've been talking and everyone else's energy is draining out of you. So imagine that your body is empty except for the skin holding yourself, but you are empty and you are feeling free. And from this void, we are asking to fill ourselves with more of ourselves, our real selves, our truth. Now, so this is a very simple little process. Be the light three-step process. The next part is open your crown chakra. That's this part. Just simply open the upper part of your energy field over your head. And it's like a basketball shoot. I mean, we have to use pictures, right, for these energetic things. And just imagine that a huge glowing ball of light is coming towards you. It does hold the vibration. And we know from quantum field and physics exercises that that which you are picturing is going to happen actually is happening in your nervous system, whether it's happening in the physical world or not. So we are picturing with their creative imagination something happening in the etheric field and your body is receiving it as if it's real and therefore we are claiming it's true and we're claiming a right to have our own experience and to feel settled and to know our truth and to speak from that truth and live in a slightly higher octave or more resonant harmonious experiences so this is not woo-woo, it is grounded in science, and we are merely using our mind and our consciousness to guide ourselves to higher ground. So imagine that this ball of light, about the shape of a basketball, is hovering over the top of your head. All you have to do is allow it now to melt down. We are, we are asking that it be a frequency flow of light that comes into our brain, our eyes, our tongue, our throat, into every cellular physical structure and the etheric energetic foundational systems of your body and that things are harmonizing and relaxing. You let go of the world and you are refilling beautiful Think of a nice, beautiful, high vibration perfume and allow it to just come through all parts of your body, rejuveni rejuvenating organs that are fatigued, a nervous system that is short-circuiting, 
and allow it all to go out into your blood. Even little blood cells are giving new messaging going into the cells and the tissues. This is a new day, a new day for joy and celebration back to yourself. It is your birthday. Take a breath and just let it flow and notice how fatigued you are. Let it push through those walls of fatigue and refresh, recuperate, rejuvenate, and remind you that this redemption back into your total balanced self is available in a simple 10 minute process. Take a breath and we appreciate and we are open to and allowing the receiving this energy. We are letting go of all resistance of receiving more of our own truest, highest vibrational essence. Let it just go deep, deep, deep into your body. And it's very interesting. Notice how your body feels. Heavy and light at the same time. Let it go down throughout the bottom of your feet. And go down and connect into the earth. ka -ching. So here you are, this big hot air balloon anchored to the earth. And let the energy come up through your feet and through your legs and up into your heart. You're make, we're, we're just making a beautiful circuit down into the earth and up through our feet, up through our body, in our heart, our neck, our hands, our fingertips, up into our head and out the top of our head, all the way back up to source. Now, we're not like in the Wizard of Oz where we're gonna go off at the end. We're gonna stay here in these physical bodies tethered, holding all of this light, all of this buoyancy. Why? To show others. To be a mentor, to be a way shower, to be a light for others to do the same thing. And there will be a point where those who have chosen levity and lightness will co-create something new for Earth, for all people, that is of a higher nature of kindness and benevolence. So doing these little procedures is not just for us, it is for all. So thank you so much for joining me today. Jan Jorgensen at Sound and Light, healing off.